Welcome to the Solemn Vanguard channel. Today we have another stream and thus we have to cover some reveals. Now, first of all, there's a new beautiful playmat. Look at that. Link will be in the description. Zero Damage Gaming. You can use the code Solemn to get some percentages off. Also, we still have some Butterfly the Moonlight over on Claret Card. So if you need any Murakumo goodness, Dark Irregular and so forth, that's also available. Finally, there's also a Zero Damage Gaming giveaway right now to promote my next song coming out October 31st. It's called Melody of of death so a giveaway for a zero damage gaming playmat once again link will be in the description this is a lot of fucking shout outs so today there's essentially two sections of reveals we have some promos and then we have the genesis stuff so starting with the promos these are actually fixing the biggest issues that clans had from last set and i guess this set as well but whatever and the odd issue is that why are these promos these cards should have been in the main sets these are like almost crucial pieces and now there's like a solid chance english isn't even getting them like samurai spirit and grand blue should have been a thing more than 12 months ago it still hasn't arrived so if any of these promos don't reach us and then overdress rolls around i doubt we'll ever see them um, we've seen this with various other promos. I can't really name names right now, but shit like the Gear one and the Mura one and blah blah blah. That hurts. So seeing these good cards as promos, I don't know about that. But so first of all, we have Afflated Lemur, Auto on R when placed. If your Vanguard is grade 3 or greater, put the top card of your deck into drop zone and then perform one of the effects below depending on that card's type. So a normal unit, Soul Charge 1, Trigger unit, Counter Charge 1. So this is solving the resource issue the Isabel deck has had for so long and they just don't care <laughs> like th that's it it's a promo hope english gets them then we have giant elephant battler pay on masks auto on r once per turn when your units stand by your card's ability you may have this unit and one of your vanguards get power plus 10k okay that's all right then we have stealth dragon gangan Auto on R, when your Mask of Domination token attacks cost Counter Blast 1, Soul Blast 1, search your deck for up to one card with the same card name as your Vanguard, put it into your soul and shuffle your deck if you put a card this unit gets power plus 15k until end of turn. This fixes the grade 3 insulting, like makes it even better. And then it gets power, like this is a crucial piece. And it's a promo. The Great Nature, crucial piece. And it's a promo. Then Aqua Force continues on R. This unit gets power plus 5k for each of your additional rearguard circle. And act on VNR once per turn. Cause Soul Blast 1 and rest two rearguards draw a card. So once again, this is going to solve some of your resource issues. And then it also gets some power. This is probably not as crucial as the other two. Well, maybe it is. It's, it's pretty solid. But the fact that these are promos is just mind-boggling to me. Like, playable promos, and in this case, even, like, deck-changing promos should not be a thing. Some people have been seeing Yasuye suddenly topping in Japan and, like, being decent, even though everyone was laughing at them. And then people go, oh, look, Yasuye is actually much better than people gave it credit for. No, the promo came. But English didn't get it, right? And, like, there's so many other, like, the Claret promo... And again, Samurai Spirit. Some people may not care much, it's not that game-changing, but I want my fucking Samurai Spirit, Jesus Christ. And these promos are just on that list of way too good to be promos. Anyway, for the actual Genesis reveals, we have Mythical Destroyer Beast Vanner Gander. Auto on VNR when placed. Cost Soul Blast 1, choose one of your opponent's rearguards and retire it. If this unit is on V, choose all of your opponents instead of one rearguard. So this is an entire field wipe just for being placed on V. Now, in standard, not having a skill beyond that makes it not all that great. But in premium, where you may just write this for your force marker, that can be pretty major. Then it's other skill, auto on R at the end of the battle, it attack the Vanguard, cost, put this unit into your soul, look at three cards from top of deck, put one of them on the top and one on the bottom and the rest into soul. Okay, I see. So it attacks, look at three, one top, one bottom, one soul. That's kind of like deck stacking. Okay, that's pretty cool. Then we have Mythic Beast Fenrir. Act on V once per turn. Cost Soul Blast one or more cards. Search your deck for up to one card with the same grade as the sum of the grades of the card Soul Blasted. <laughs> wow, that's a mouthful. For this cost, reveal it, put it into your hand, shuffle, and call a card from your hand to R. So it's a plus one, but you do still have to like put something on field. And then auto on V once per turn when your card is put from your soul into your drop zone. So when you Soul Blasted, I guess, Counter Blast 1 and Call of one of those cards to R. This is very similar to its old G skill, actually. Auto on V when it attacks, Soul Blast 1, and this unit gets power plus 10. So this skill is weird. Like, it does a lot. 
it's like a value card it just creates value but it doesn't really do anything to push so i'm assuming it will require its rear guards and the synergy to actually do something this is just free value free 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 and then from there you need to hope that you can do something with that free value notice how this can actually grab anything from the deck because you soul blast three you get a grade three soul blast two you get a grade two soul blast one you get a grade one this means that whatever gets printed for genesis in the future genesis will always have access to it that is a very big precedent like that's the same issue as columbard where if bushiroad prints anything in grand blue in the future that's good columbard will always grab it same thing with Fenrir now. So that limits design space in a sense, but it's also interesting because we get more toolboxing, which I do enjoy in quite some card games. Overall, this card, you can't say if it's like strong or not in a vacuum because it literally does nothing beyond getting you other pieces. So depending on the strength of the pieces it can get you, this card is insane. Or weak. I'm personally not super big into Genesis to really make a judgment call on that. I think toolboxing will forever be insanely good, so I can see this being strong, but I can't really know for sure what the like short-term impacts would be on the meta. Overall, I do like Fenrir. I have the Genesis deck, so I'm excited for them, but it is not something that I can like instantly theory craft to in depth on so yeah that was all for today hope you found this interesting if you did please like and subscribe once again this beautiful playmat is available right now you can also join the giveaway to maybe win a free one from zero damage gaming that will be all ciao